Hey guys, Tom here. So, time for another uh, Collection Privé uh, review from the House of Dior. This one, this ha line, the Collection Privé line, is quickly becoming one of my favorites. I just, I love um, everything about them. The size of the bottles, the design of the bottles, and more importantly, um, the juice that is inside the bottles. I just think that it's spellbinding. Uh, collection. <clears throat> so, okay, so the Collection Privé um, is a collection of 11 fragrances. Uh, they are Cologne Royale, uh, Mie à la Forêt, Granville, New Look 1947, Mitza, uh, Bois d'Argent, um, which I did a previous uh, video on, uh, Vetiver, <clears throat> Patchouli Imperial, Ambre Nuit, uh, Au Noir and Leather Oud, and today we're going to be talking about um, one that I find captivating, Leather Oud. The masculines in this line are considered Au Noir, Bois de Argent, um, Ambre Nuit, the Vetiver, and the Leather Oud. So, um, of the, the fragrances in the collection, it uh, tends to lean more toward the masculine. There are more fragrances masculine leaning than feminine in the line. Unisex is considered Clone Royale, uh, while the other five are considered feminine. I have to disagree with that, though, because I think Granville um, is squarely unisex, and that's another awesome one. Um, they use pine in that cologne, or I should say parfum. They are all eau de parfum. Um, they use pine in, in that fragrance, and that's a challenging note to use. Um, and they do it masterfully, I think, and I think that that's a beautiful... Um, fragrance with pine is the the top note and I see a man or a woman wearing that so I'm not really sure where the feminine part of Granville comes from but at Dior um, the 8.5 ounce um, of leather oud runs around 230 the 4.25 around 155 this is not a line that is easy to come by samples are difficult to obtain um, so it's hard to sniff them out, firstly, and secondly, it's hard to find them. They're available to a certain extent on the Dior website, however, some are not. Um, in other cases, you have to actually contact a Dior boutique um, to have the to purchase the scent. <clears throat> if you're not in that area, you have to have it mailed to you. Uh, for instance, I was at the uh, Dior fragrance counter um, in Chicago at Macy's, they did not have them there. Most uh, Dior cosmetics slash fragrance counters do not carry them. In a lot of instances, the sales associates haven't even heard of them or know about the, the smell. So it's hard to um, actually obtain the fragrances in some cases without calling um, a Dior boutique. For instance, the one in um, Las Vegas carries them. Um, they are all Eau de Parfum strength. In some cases, um, and in some places, you'll see them labeled as colognes. And I think this is a carryover of the remnant from when the original, it was originally known, La Collection Privé as La Collection Couturier. Um, and that was introduced with the male fragrances Eau Noir, Bois d'Argent, and Ombre Nuit. And I think that the cologne label still is a carryover from when it was strictly a masculine line. It was then worked into um, La Collection Privé and the 11 fragrances and they are all Eau de Parfum. Some people say expensive but if you look at the size of the bottles um, this is the big one and it's massive on the leather oud. Huge, fills up the whole screen almost. It's actually more of a high-end designer price line um, is what you're looking at rather than what you would pay for in each fragrance just because of the quantity of juice that you get in the bottle for versus what the price is. Um, Leather Oud was introduced in 2010. Uh, it's one of the newer, newer ones, the Perfumier uh, Francois Demachy. Um, longevity on it, exceptional. I wore it to work uh, Friday. The base was still radiating off my chest 13 hours later. Um, it, it, on that day, I wore one spray on each wrist and one on uh, my breastbone, and I could clearly smell it. 
12 hours later. The good thing is I don't find it clawing at all. Um, sprayer is animal. If I didn't push all the way down on the atomizer, but comes out awesome. It's almost like um, I would say a Creed sprayer. Bottle that it comes in. Ah, leather Oud. Christian Dior Paris. When you order these from the website, um, you actually get a invoice completely in French, which is kind of weird. Um, the inside of this is like a felt almost padding, so perfect for travel. When you slip the bottle inside, I don't think it's going anywhere. I mean, it fits securely. Look at that. By the way, um, my buddy Dan did a video of Bois de Archon. He's the one that got me into these. Uh, and it is the best video out there of the Collection Cotodier slash Privé um, line, in my opinion. It's masterfully done. So uh, check his video out. I'll put a link um, down in the comments section. Um, <clears throat> So I would say one spray to each wrist, one to breastbone. Uh, the sillage, excellent, but not obtrusive. Projection, very good. I don't get compliments on fragrances unless I stick my wrists up to somebody's nose and have them smell. And uh, when I went to work, I got two unsolicited uh, compliments actually from it. The first one was, do you have a new cologne? Uh, you smell good like incense. Um, I find compliments, the, uh, the people's remarks interesting. And the second one was, what's that good smell? It smells like you ground pepper on yourself. <laughs> and uh, my comment, on, I also got one on Bois de Argent. Uh, the first day I wore that, and that was like, you smell like my grandpa's expensive cigar collection. So just it's interesting to hear what other people say. Um, and Drac Doc does some videos where he actually takes the fragrances to work and gets people's opinions, and I think those are fascinating. So, um, the Dior website lists um, the Leather Oud fragrance as a simple composition. Um, they say top, cardamom, um, heart, clove, and base, Oud wood, Indonesia. There's more to it than that. Uh, we're going to go over that in just a second. There is more stuff in here than that. This is not um, a starter fragrance. If you're just beginning, um, haven't sniffed out a lot of things before, I would say definitely get a sample before you buy. I'm not saying you're not going to like it, but it's a little more complex. There's some debate on this one as to whether there's actual oud oil in it. Um, and oud is a tricky one uh, just because of the nature of it. Some kind, sometimes it can almost smell a bit fecal. It depends on where the oud is from. Um, oud laos. Um, Indonesian, Oud, it just depends. So some say that um, Demashi is confirmed as having said that the fragrance actually contains um, pure Indonesian Oud oil. Um, others say that the fragrance is just containing an accord of Oud, and the accord is actually that of um, a piece of burning oud wood. In my opinion, I definitely pick up the oud, whether or not it is an accord oud, like Byredo that alludes to oud, or whether or not it is actually oud, subject to, to debate. Um, two that actually contain oud, um, Mona de Oreos, um, Nombres de Or, her oud fragrance actually contains oud. Um, the Zerjoff um, extension of the Shooting Stars line, Oud Stars, those um, contain Oud. Uh, this one, up to, up to debate. Actually, the Amazon website, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I think they take advantage of the scarcity of the line and the difficulty in finding samples, um, because with them, do not order uh, from the Amazon website if you can order from like the Dior Boutique or Dior.com, the 8.5 ounce, they've got listed at $545.99, I think, and the 
4.25 ounce at 3.99 just crazy um doesn't make any sense since you can buy it elsewhere but that's an example of i would say you know taking advantage of the scarcity of the fragrance and the difficulty in finding it okay so let's get to the meat and potatoes what do i think of this um as to the notes in it um castorium in it um most likely beeswax certainly um civet definitely so if you have a problem with civet um this would not be one for you uh the top um cardamom and probably um a little beeswax slash honey accord and then a light tobacco cardamom is a tricky one also because a lot of people say it smells a little bit like pee I don't think so but I enjoy it the mid you're starting to get that um, Indonesian oud accord and then a little bit of like a hay vetiver combination the base uh, birch civet santal mysore um, Papyrus Absolute, and then a little bit of patchouli just to dirty it up a little bit. It's a woody um, base. A lot of people say um, because of the civet note in the Castorium um, Barnyard. I don't think so at all. What comes to mind with, with this for me for some reason, I guess it's that civet note um, is like a male lion stretched out, like quiet power and it's actually a good smell understated subdued but still a little bit musky that's kind of i don't know why i get the lion image but that's what i get just strength and majesty from it i think um the oud is kind of interesting in this uh once the cardamom settles down a little bit and the sweetness tames down you've got that clove kind of thing that's gone um, clove cardamom mix, and then you've got the woods, like the guayac and the birch, and it's almost like the, the oud accord is kind of like a smoky, snaky thing weaving its way in and out of the woods, and sometimes it appears, and sometimes it pulls back, and then at other times appears, and then other times goes away. Um, so I think it's kind of, I could see where that comment came from work, the incense smell, um, probably because of the Santal, Mysore, and the, a little bit of patchouli, um, and that birch mixed together. Um, but at first when I smelled it, I thought, wow, kind of like Tuscan leather. Um, but it's a much more subdued version of that, and I don't think the what people say is the barnyard smell, the civet, I think that just acts to emphasize and bring out um, the beauty of the oud accord and the woods that are combined to create that dry leather kind of smell. I wouldn't say unisex, I'd say more masculine. Um, it would take a certain kind of woman to pull this off. Um, but I think it's more toned down than um, the Tom Ford uh, Tuscan leather, which I also love, but this is a, a more gentle version of it. Um, I liken it to kind of like a musk base almost, with that leather and oud draped over the top. It's beautiful, in my opinion. A lot of people are not going to like it though because of the civet kind of animalic uh, note to it, but if you're a person that likes the animalic musk scents, you'll definitely like it. Um, get a sample. Uh, I've also heard um, comparisons to maybe layering the Tom Ford um, Tuscan leather with the Tom Ford Oud. I don't think you get anywhere close to this uh, just because his fragrances are so strong. Um, the two together I think would, I think one would overpower the other where these are blended perfectly. So Leather Oud uh, by Christian Dior, Collection Couturier that became Collection Privé, a beautiful classic, classy scent. Um, if you've tried it, let me know what you think. I absolutely love it. Take care, guys. Take care.